Northern Minnesota is well known for its hockey and the hardworking people of the Iron Range. Stretching throughout the Arrowhead region of Minnesota, over the last two centuries, iron ore mining became synonymous with its people. Hockey legends like Antonovich, Mayasic, Micheletti, and Brimsic came from these tough small towns of Itasca and St. Louis County. Towns where the mines were the backbone of its economic development. I wish you'd still be a rival. Just like back in the old days, you always hear stories about all the good players that came out of the Iron Range and how fun that would have been to play back then. Back in the day, I mean, they have guys go all going all over the place for to play extra after high school. I def I like the uh, I like the Hibbing Memorial Rink. Um, I like the Snake Pit. The Snake Pit over in Cola Range is pretty cool. I like how the atmosphere is kind of like right down on the ice. Like you can basically stand over the glass. I think a long time ago I played in the old Virginia one, and that was. I really like that rank. I'd say the Hippodrome and Ellis. I would say I don't like playing in the Snake Pit. One northern Minnesota hockey town is close to that range, but is it actually on the range? I don't think so. I think like the border kind of ends when you're coming into Rapids from Greenway, I think. I would say it wouldn't, or it's not in our Iron Range town. I feel like it kind of stops at Greenway and goes on from there. I'd say it crosses a little bit, but I think we're kind of on the suburbs of it. Strange. The Thunderhawks have all the same things their neighbors to the north and east have. Great work ethic and state championships with legendary hockey players like Bill Baker, John Casey, and Blake McLaughlin. I like watching Miracle on Ice and Bill Baker. Uh, he's number six, so like, that's why I chose it. Then more recent, Micah Miller, uh, Blake McLaughlin, Jake Bischoff, Gavin Payne. Um, obviously Jack Pert, who's playing the World Juniors right now. I think of Shepard and Stay School and Clap, yeah, because I've I've been around them and I've worked with them a little bit growing up. It's put a big impact on Grand Rapids hockey and the tradition of goalies here. Grand Rapids, despite being just six miles from Coleraine, isn't on the range. As similar and as close as they are, they may as well be on the opposite side of the state. We play with some guys in the cities and they always love coming up here to say it's our favorite rink. And you go down there to play and you expect a big crowd and there's no one there. That's why I think they love coming up and playing up here because there's so many people here.